What's up guys, Joel here, and we're back with another video. This time, um, because somebody requested, we're going to be talking about how to bulk. So, first of all, what is bulking? Um, it's a term you hear all the time for lifters. Basically, what bulking is, is you're eating in a caloric surplus, which is basically more calories than you need to maintain your weight for an extended period of time, right? A couple months, maybe. And you're going to put on some fat, but this is the quickest way to put on muscle size and strength. So you are essentially losing short-term aesthetics for like basically however long you bulk for long-term progress, development, and aesthetics, right? So that's, that's what bulking is, first of all, right? Now... How do you necessarily go about bulking? I got you. What you do is type in caloriecalculator.net and it should bring you to this website. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your stats, your age, height, weight, how often you plan to lift, and you're going to calculate it. And when you calculate it, it's going to essentially tell you the calories you need to maintain, which is your maintenance calories, which is going to determine how much you need to cut or bulk. And you're going to decide. So I put my stats in right. And this is what it tells me. The top is giving my maintenance calories. So if I wanted to bulk, I would eat above that maintained weight of 3,190. And if I wanted to lose weight, I would eat below that. So when I bulk, you ideally want to eat two to 500 above the maintenance. So for someone like me, that's anywhere from... 3400 to 3700 i would stay around like two to three hundred so you don't put on too much fat and keep the foods clean but yeah that is the gaining weight um portion of bulking right eating in a caloric surplus so you're gonna once again you're gonna type in all your stats like i showed you you're gonna hit calculate it'll tell you you're just gonna look at that maintain weight and if you want to bulk all you have to do is add two to five hundred calories to that and you will steadily go up now how do we go about bulking so we're getting the most out of it and not just putting on needless fat it's a little bit different so let me explain All right so in bulking you're going to use these excess calories to give you an advantage in the gym the extra carbohydrates and calories should give you more energy in the gym whilst the extra protein should allow you to better effectively recover from all of your workouts thus you'll make more progress over time so what you're going to want to do right when you go into the gym i want you to put an increased focus on bringing either your reps or weight up over time right so say you're doing like 225 on bench and i'll give you an example in a second 225 on bench for like five right I want you to set a rep goal to hit by the end of that bulk. So you either stop the bulk at a certain time or stop the bulk once you've hit this number of reps, right? So you're going to start at like 225 times 5, right, on bench. And you're going to bulk until you can hit like 225 by 12. So it ensures you're going up on strength, right? So you're going to want to try to go up one rep every workout, right? or half a rep or whatever right i like to start at five reps and then move up to nine or eight reps right over time and then add 30 pounds and then start at four to five reps go up to nine rinse and repeat keep doing that right and you're going to continue this you're going to continue this progressively overloading the weights eating in a caloric surplus for a couple of months here's an example of a helpful way that you can track it your progress per se i write it down in my notes right my these are my personal weight times reps right so you see 245 by 7 on incline barbell bench that means i do 245 times 7 last time i hit 245 times 6 so this time i put 245 times 7 because that's what i have to aim for and you're going to do this every workout Maybe it'll take you three workouts to hit that eight reps or four. It doesn't matter. Once you hit the rep goal, you're going to up it by one. So if I say, let's let's say I hit 245 times seven today. I want to put 245 times eight. 
so I know what to do. And you're going to do that with all of your exercises, right? I mainly do this on all of my first sets, and then the three sets after, I just go to failure or within failure, right? And this will ensure that you're progressing through the bulk. This will this will keep you on track because I noticed for me, if I'm not re- like really focused on progressing, I don't like pay attention to it. I'll stay on the same weight and I'll kind of just work out and I might be able to still get big because I'm young with good genetics and hormones. But this is a way to ensure that you are really progressing and getting the most out of your bulk. And I don't want you to just do like bulk until you hit a three rep difference. You need to bulk for a while so that your the strength you gain is not just a result of you going up on weight on the bolt. It's a result of you having enough time to actually get stronger. But because you're bulking, it's in an optimal environment, right? So, yeah. Let's recap on bulking now. So, you want to eat in a caloric surplus, which is above your maintenance calories. You're going to find that. By going to caloriecalculator.net, typing your stats, calculating, and then eating two to 500 above your maintenance calories, right? Um, you can use MyFitnessPal to help you track as well. And some good foods are like tuna, chicken, brown rice, salmon, fish, you know, shit like that, sweet potatoes. And the foods that you're mostly going to increase, right, to get into your caloric surplus are your proteins. So your meats like your tuna, chicken, steak, shit like that, and a little bit of your carbs. So the brown rice, you might want to up just a little bit for that more energy. Sweet potatoes, rice, and whatnot. And you want to keep the fats pretty similar, right? So next, you're using these as an advantage in the gym. These extra calories, the extra protein help recover the carbs, calories, all of that will help you perform better in the gym. You're going to use this to your advantage, and you're going to try to get as strong as possible, progress all your weight, on all your lists with the same form and just genuinely get stronger on this both because how do you grow by getting stronger progressive overload and you're going to continue this for two to six months an extended period of time until you've gained a noticeable amount of strength or for a couple months but make sure you gain a good amount of strength or you gain let's say like 10 to 20 pounds right and then you should be done with your bulk and ready to cut so that's basically how you bulk um yeah it's not too hard you know it's pretty fun you know you could let loose at times you can eat cheeseburgers if you want to go on a dirty bulk have cheat days you know shit like that um but yeah bulking is very simple it's a lot of people's most fun thing of their lifting journey i guess and yeah so if there's any other like types of videos you guys would want like how to cut or maybe how to get the Miguel O'Hara OZ physique or a Garu physique or the Baki physique. Let me know. I'll analyze their physiques. Determine what exercises you would need to get the same points in their physiques that they have. And I'll post it. But yeah, just let me know. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.